Obsidian is a wonderful app, but Logseek is another note-taking and knowledge graph app making headlines. How do both compare and which is the best for you? The video is all you need. Both are offline note-taking and knowledge graph applications to write down your thoughts and daily notes. Both support the markdown language syntax so you can open Logseek files in Obsidian and work in both. One difference we find in Logseek is that the app is block based so every new line becomes a bulleted line and as you keep adding it creates a hierarchy to click on a bullet point and see that blocks data. This is missing from Obsidian as the program focuses on the text rather than blocks. Both have options to create daily notes with one click. This makes it easier to write down your thoughts, to do and your daily diary. As both support markdown text, typing in both is similar. You can bold text, italicize it, underline it and do other things with the proper syntax. The great thing here is that both are the same, so you won't find any additional editing options in one. One of the reasons people use those is their knowledge graph view that shows pages linking to other pages. This is a powerful view because it lets you see how your project is going and how it will look in the future. This also helps in seeing any present issues and issues that may come in the future. However, when I see the two side by side, I think Obsidian's knowledge graph is better. It has many graph options to customize and animate it. Even the interface and usage in Obsidian is better. We can filter data to present it according to our ways, enable arrows and change the node size. Logseek lets you see the linked and unlinked references in the edit view which is a great way to see the backlinks. Moving on, you'll find plugins in both. The difference is the quantity because Obsidian has a massive library of over 900 plugins. Some improve the search feature while some add AI options. But you will find a plugin for every single option related to note taking. Logseek is great too because we find 300 plugins. Some remind you of tasks while some will add automation. You'll also find third party app integrations if you use apps like Figma and ChatGPT. Here's another similar feature. Obsidian has canvas while Logseek has whiteboard. Despite the name difference, both are almost the same. We get to add items to create boards. You can design the project flow, instructions and anything else you can think of. Overall, I find Obsidian Canvas to be better than Logseek's whiteboard, but Logseek lets you draw, which we don't find in Obsidian. Some people want online apps to sync notes, while others like saving notes locally. And this is where both shine because you save files locally. When you create a project, both ask for the project location. This is another great thing as you can carry project files on a USB and sync nodes. Both also let you sync files using cloud storage platforms. Just save projects in the cloud and sync whenever new changes are available. On the same topic, I want to talk about collaboration. Because both are offline, collaboration is slightly challenging. You can get the Obsidian sync plan and collaborate with others. Logseek does not have anything like that, but as I said, you can sync files online and get things done. Both are free to use, but we see ways to get more features and support creators. Logseek is completely free and relies on donations. Obsidian brings a sync plan which costs $10 per month, offering end-to-end -end encrypted syncing. It also has a catalyst plan costing a one-time fee to support the development. The last is the commercial plan to use Obsidian for commercial needs. So which one is for you? Obsidian is more used for general project management and knowledge graphs, while Logseek is more for daily journaling because that's how both are advertised. Obsidian is more advanced overall, so if you don't want to be tied down, think Obsidian. With that said, this is it. Thanks for watching. Take care.